Hey guys, here's a little tutorial for you guys about putting on a desktop image onto another computer. So let's start with making a new document and just unlocking the background like usual. Taking a, a sample file such as this picture of an iMac. I'm going to scale it up to fit the canvas and place. Now the only thing different about screens is that they have a perspective sometimes as well as a gloss. We're going to be able to recreate the gloss in a moment but first we're going to have to map it out to the screen. So I have a picture of a screenshot that I would like to put on the screen. We're going to scale it down a little bit just so about the top corners meet the edge of these about the same size there so once we place it there we're going to do something called perspective so hit command T to transform it and hit perspective and now we can adjust these accordingly so click around here so you get this up and down arrow and kind of push it up so that it forms that same angle as well as clicking down here and bringing it closer to here. If you want to you can drag it down a little bit but really just map it out so that it fits. Just keep maneuvering it until it gets into place. It's going to take a while to figure it out completely, but once you have the whole thing figured out, it's pretty simple from there. Almost got it. There, that looks good. <coughs> I'm actually going to add a, another little perspective there to that. And scoot shit over. There, that looks perfect. So now we have our screen like this, and it's uh, it looks generally like it's supposed to, just like a screen on the computer. Now we're done with that. We can kind of lock into place. We're gonna have to zoom in so that it actually doesn't snap the image. And that's pretty close. Just keep zooming in until you get to the raw pixels right there. That's good. So now we have to possibly warp it a little more because it looks like it's still kind of crooked. There we go. That's good enough. So now once we have that pretty much set up, we can hide this and we're going to use our pen tool to make the same glare as the iMac. So just keep working until you eventually get over to about the same way 
the glares going and just make a giant selection. <clears throat> and after that, make sure you press D and then switch these around so that the background is now the foreground. And then go to gradient and change it to foreground and transparent. And then just like they do on the IMAX, we're going to make a gradient that starts down and ends about here. And then X out of it. And basically drop the opacity down a lot. So then finally it'll look something like the actual iMac image. I have to put that back up there and change this back down to 20, maybe 10. Yeah, that looks about right. We might have to warp this a little bit. So actually go on our layer here with the screen and press warp and just Pop it there, pop that there, snap this here, snap that there, and here. This looks fine there, and finally up here in the corner. That looks good right there. Let's make sure this is not too far. That seems to work. So now we're done with that. And now we have our final image. It looks just like an IMAX screen would. And if we wanted to, we could pump this up more to like 30. And then I actually select this and delete that. You could always just uh, select around your artificial screen, hit M and then select inverse and then on that gloss layer just hit delete and you can adjust this accordingly so that it will appear as though it were a part of the same device and it really works so it looks realistic and uh, that's how you make that look exactly like a IMAX screen and you can do this for almost anything. So uh, it's pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll peace out. See you guys later.